Hello there, Dan Calloway here, and today I'm going to show you how to verify a uh, download from the web. I'm up on my Guruman Linux KDE SourceForge.net website for my project, and I'm going to download um, Guruman Linux KDE uh, from the web. I've already done it once, so I'm just going to go show you that you know you just save the file here, uh, and then click OK. And that's going to download uh, the file itself, the ISO or the ISO file. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I've already done it and it's in my uh, downloads folder. And so I'll show you how to verify it. In Linux, you can verify the SHA256 hash or the MD5 or SHA1. Um, I'm going to uh, show you how to do that with MD5 and, and SHA256. I've got the SHA256 checksum up here and the MD5 checksum already uh, on my site and so people can grab that and verify the download and that's to make sure it's not corrupt uh, or that it's been intercepted. Alright so I'm in the terminal now and let's go out uh, with PC Mun FM file manager and go to the downloads folder. Here is the ISO that I downloaded earlier and that's what I'm going to be using um, to verify. Alright so I'm going to go ahead and copy this file and this binary and then I'm going to go to the terminal I'm going to issue the command MD5 sum and then I'm going to use a control V uh, control alt V rather to paste that into the terminal I'm going to hit the enter key and that's going to generate an MD5 sum against that file okay uh, this is just one of the terminal commands that you can use in Linux to do this um, and in a few seconds you're going to see that rendered here and, and, and there it is. Okay, there's the MD5 sum generated. I'm going to go back out to the web, to my website, to my project. I'm going to open up the terminal and pull them alongside. Notice this starts with 95126. There's the 95126. And it ends in, uh, you know, uh, B51C and B51C. So. The odds of that not being the same, we haven't checked every number, but the odds of it being off by one digit are very remote. It would, if anything, it would be you know, totally off. All right, so I'm going to do the SHA256 sum against the file in the terminal. Uh, so the SHA256 sum. This is going to take a little longer because it is a bigger hash, obviously. It's a more accurate way of uh, determining whether your ISO or any other file, for that matter. Um, has not been corrupted or tampered with in any way. It's a good idea to do this on a regular basis when you're downloading from the web. Okay, so there's there's the uh, hash generated from the Linux command. I'm going to pull my website alongside here and there's the SHA256 sum. Uh, it looks like the beginning is, is the same and D0A30 is the end. So the odds of that not being exact, you know, are pretty remote. So that looks like a good file that I downloaded. All right. Okay. So uh, I had generated both of those sums um, prior to uploading uh, the ISO to the web. All right. So now I'm going to show you another way. Uh, if you don't want to get into the terminal, and do it. There is a, a GUI called GTK Hash, and uh, here it is. Okay. GTK Hash will allow you to verify. Um, a file against both of those and uh, additional ones as well, SHA1 as well as NCRC32. All right, so what you do first is you go into the file here, click the file folder, click on the file that you're verifying, and that's the ISO file in the downloads folder, and that puts it into the first window. Then I'm going to go back out to the web and I'm going to copy and paste the MD5 checksum that I generated. You have to make sure you grab all of it. Um, so I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it into the MD5 or into the check window rather of the um, GTK hash and there it is. All right. And so then I'm going to hit the hash button down at the bottom lower right and that's going to go out and generate an MD5 hash against the file that's loaded in the file window and uh, and then it'll compare it against the one that I have in the check window. Okay, if they match, there'll be a check mark next to the one in the check window and the MD5. 
This is a way of verifying every digit in the uh, in the MD5 sum. All right, so there is a check mark there. See it there, and there's a check mark there. So that means these two are absolutely the same. Okay. So let's just to be sure, I'll show you for the uh, SHA-256 checksum. Let's go ahead and grab this one, if I can, and let's uh, cut and paste that into the check window as well. I'll just overwrite the one that's there. And uh, so I'm going to bring that one up. And let's go ahead and paste that into the window. All right, we've already generated the hash, so the only thing it's going to be looking at is that window there and the original window, and there's a check mark against each one. So both of them match, so this is the perfect match. So this is a great ISO download. You'll be able to uh, install it with no problem, no worries, won't be corrupt. And so this is a way to do it either in the terminal or the uh, GTK hash. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.